Okay, you've been playing with um, Scratch concepts and Scratch programming blocks for a bit. We made some things that um, were just kind of experiments, like just throw some things together, see what you can make happen. Now, it's time for you to um, take all that knowledge and put it together and actually make product um, that communicates about yourself. So we're gonna, that's the topic we're going to go with is you're going to communicate about you through Scratch. So you're going to make an interactive collage project and that's going to be your test over this unit to show what you know about Scratch. Now, first of all, you want to know what, what am I talking about? What are you supposed to do? So you're going to use sprites, costumes, backdrops. Um, you're going to use different looks, sounds, and you're going to create um, kind of like a poster that's interactive uh, that communicates about you, like things you like, things you do, your hobbies, um, things of that nature. So you're going to put all this stuff together, you're going to make something that the user interacts with and receives information about you. Now, um, that description, you know, a bunch of words, you probably want to see one in action, give, give an example. So let me show you a few examples um, that would work for this project. So here's a quick example that some student has made uh, when I run the project. Notice there's animation, um, nice instructions. It's interactive. I'm going to come here. I'm going to click the computer. It tells me something. Uh, I click here. It tells me something. I click here. It tells me something. Now, that's a quick example. I want you to also include sounds, and I think all those would be better if they were animated when I click them. Um, but some, there's a a quick idea of what you're going to do. But I, of course I want sounds, I want more animation, it's going to be beautiful what you put together. Let me show you another example real quick. Here's another example from another student. Um, it has, kind of tells me a story. Now, you have different sprites. That get, uh, I want you to also spell things correctly. Now hit, the animation here is just disappearing, which is pretty simple, but he gives information. I want you to spell things better, but there's a quick example. I think your, of course, I want you to include sounds. I think your animations could be more creative, but there's an example, and I'll show you one more example. Now here we got a third example. We sh this one has a constant animation going, which is fine. Um, this one will play sounds, but my video won't pick it up, so you're you're not going to hear their sounds because my my uh, video capture software is well, free and generic. So, this one plays th some music like a ukulele. She uses some color um, blocks, which is something you might think about. I like this one because every single one of these is animated, which is nice. And so it's, it's very in interactive, very animated, gives some information about you. So that's kind of the idea. You want to incorporate all those things to kind of almost tell a story or to do a certain purpose. Now let me show you kind of exactly what I'm expecting out of you, out of your project uh, with some specifications. So for this for this project, this project which is all about you, first of all it has to be interactive, which means it's going to respond to mouse clicks because that's a real, I guess we could also respond to key presses if you'd rather do that, but then with the key presses you would need to give some instructions on what keys to press. But it needs to be interactive. There need to be at least four things that I interact with um, to learn about you. It has to include sound. So it would be great, like if I click this thing, I get this sound, click that thing, get another sound, that'd be cool. It has to include animation. When I say animation, that means it has to include motion, things move, and it has to include some costumes, things change the way they look. And you want it to be on top of some attractive backdrop. You don't, you don't want just a white, plain backdrop. You want to make sure it looks um, it matches. Like some of those kids had some things that were in their room, you know, something like that. So you want to make sure it's very attractive, um, that it tells about you, that it represents you, and but the requirements um, as far as coding means it's interactive, there's sound, there's animation including motion and costumes, and you're going to do an interactive backdrop. Now, from there you get to be creative and make something that you want. I'll make you uh, another video. In the next video I'll show you just some ideas about animation and how to get started. So if you need some ideas about animation, come back for the next video.